Nick Kyrgios to get the party started. Been at all on this backhand is there that Kyrgios uses? It's quite an extraordinary shot, and for him to guide it with that much accuracy, it, it's it's so different. Uh, it's a different type of ball, and quite extraordinary that he can hit it with that accuracy. For me, it really is. What a and shot! Medvedev on the other side doesn't hit it with too much spin either. It seems like these these days the guy's got so much feel off that side. I mean, that's just an indication of how good the serve is. Three aces. Coming out cold like that, it's, it's quite extraordinary. Yeah, and just to put that into even further perspective, when they played in the finals of Washington, we know what a great returner Medvedev is. Wasn't able to fashion a single break point the whole match, six and six. And it's just great weight transference. The ball toss is so consistent, isn't it? Same spot every time, and it's so tough to read then. And can hit both corners off the same toss and as a returner that's so unnerving you happy with that win predictor so heavily in favor of Medvedev well, Matt, it's hard for me to, to know I mean I think if he gets off to a, a good start Medvedev that's that's the win predictor if if he doesn't if he doesn't win the first set it's a whole different ball game yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much that would swing should Nick win the opening set keep an eye on that 84% at the start. Let's see how it unfolds. in for an interesting night, one way or the other, Medvedev. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit of breeze down there. It can be a bit unsettling for the first, first few games. Usually, it seems to come from the Medvedev end. And look, Kyrgios working the crowd already. Thank you. Thank you. So that's just tension created for the opposition through the crowd. 
That's a run of the mill shot from Medvedev there, and he misses it. As a result, Kyrgios has got two break points. Please. Thank you. Thank you. to Medvedev, he loves it, doesn't he? Yeah, and I think the more of these points Medvedev has from the start of this match, the more cumulative effect it will have against his opponent. But it's nerve-wracking at the start, that's for sure. He's still you, down a break point as the Russian. Pressure there for him. A good block return from Kyrgios gets the ball back deep and awkward. Medvedev's long-time coach, Gilles Savara, doubles up as his physical trainer. Almost five years, I think, they've been together now. And Medvedev. Medvedev handling the pressure here early as you'd expect from such a seasoned campaigner now. But that was difficult, a really difficult circumstance there at 1540. The tension was palpable. Game. Huge game, huge hold for Medvedev. Sometimes you lose the opening game against Nick Kyrgios and the first wow. set can be almost gone. Yep, excellent point. Such as a serving prowess. I mean, we saw that in living colour in his opening match against Liam Brody. The moment he got on top of the Brit, he was just struggling to play catch-up. And it happened at the start of all three sets. Yeah, as soon as they're in the rally, Robbie, the odds are heavily in favour of Medvedev. Absolutely. I'm not sure what those odds are, but certainly in his favour. This is the problem with the Kyrgios volley sometimes. He is casual and he wants to make it look easy, but the technique can fall down a little bit and he misses more than his fair share of this type of volley. Well, he means business, Medvedev here. I can't tell you how important that first hold was from his point of view. And that was just a little mini dagger into Nick Kyrgios. He thought he was going to break there and get on a roll, serve out the first set. And all of a sudden now, his commitment in this game has been a bit different than the first. And the whole dynamic has changed, hasn't yep. it? Tough to rally the crowd when you're down low 40. Three break points for Medi. Right.
Got some heat on 214. Foster serve to date. That one's gone up one click. First serve here makes a world of difference. The odds swing dramatically. There is the defense of Medvedev. That is so tough to go through. Well, Nick, just a little frustrated on the change of ends if you weren't with us, having a chat to Carlos Bernardes, wanting to know why the white tiles have only just come out now. There they are. Felt he needed in the last two games. But that's just Nick venting because he failed to capitalize on the break points he had on Medvedev's opening service game. Three of them. And he gets broken in the very next game himself. Thank you. So suddenly Thank you. the dynamic has changed very quickly. Medvedev looking to extend his lead. Let's see, I was just having a look at the first set points one on a hard court over the last 52 weeks. Medvedev's in fourth place. They've still got Milos Raonic in there. He hasn't played much. Nick hasn't played much. So those two, are, you can almost discard them because the, the sample size is so small. But it's Medvedev and Isner who topped the list. Yeah, first serve points one. It's pretty telling about Medvedev. You know, he is, he's the complete player. Certainly is. You wouldn't necessarily pick that up, I think, but isn't that telling? Because that, that means not only can he rally and sustain himself from the back of the court with the best in the game, he, he's got an all-round uh, sort of application, I think, to how he wins. The serve is underrated. Absolutely. Spot on. And you'll find that Kyrgios has to press. He has to press here on his own serve. Probably needs to just, he knows how to do it. Probably needs to keep the rhythm though.
That was some nice handiwork. 15 long. But you know, Robbie, surely, I mean, it, it, he wouldn't be human, Kyrgios, if, if points like this didn't shake him a little bit too, because his aerobic capacity cannot be anywhere near what Medvedev's is. I mean, yep. he hasn't played the matches, hasn't played the tournaments, had COVID last week. He doesn't want too many points like that. If you don't have the miles and the legs at this level, <laughs> best of five against the best in the world. Yep. It's very tough to compete. He's still got that weapon though. And it is a mighty weapon. Yeah, it is the one big Don't silver be. lining to this contest. If he is undercooked on the fitness front. It's the number of free points he can get off that serve. I mean, he served at, I think, 82% first serves in against Brody when we did that match. That was ridiculous. doesn't volley well enough against uh, I don't think he likes to sneak in but there was no body in that volley too light too flippant really Daniel will make you pay all day long Biggest serve returned with interest, Fitzy. Yeah, and, and I, it worries me when uh, Nick has to go toe to toe from the back of the court with him. The movement didn't seem it didn't seem to be at the top of his game there in terms of movement. Fresh point again. and it has to stay at least there, you would think. Percentage is 64. So you can understand why we want him to be better, better than that, given the opposition. Oh, it's the end of a serve. We thought it would come out. And it does to good effect. Sneaky from Mick. Gets the desired result. He holds and avoids going down the double break. I guess in, in many respects, you know, it could be argued that's a sensible serve given how far back Medvedev stands. Well, I think it was inevitable. I mean, he stands as far back as anyone in the game, Medvedev. So it was inevitable Kyros was going to do it, but he's going to pick the right time. He's going to pick when he's ahead in the game normally. He's not going to risk his serve. Look how far back he is. And look how quick Medvedev is. This is a six foot six athlete. Gets there pretty easily. Just overplays it. If that had been he overplays the volley. If <laughs> 
I don't know if you've ever seen one of my favorite movies uh, with Denzel Washington in it, Fitzy. Man on fire. I mean, he epitomizes this guy in picture. No smiling, no messing around, he said. You know, when you say fire, it's like you're on fire, Robbie. Uh, Denzel's the man. There's another great line in the movie. I mean, fitting for these two guys. Are you trained or untrained? <laughs> Am I reading between the lines? I think you are. <laughs> Fine, but it, it was a little bit of fun and games there. And it might, might win occasionally, but I'm not sure it's going to cut the mustard over time against Medvedev. <laughs> Gilles Sabar is happy, and we've strengthened our team as well. We've got Brad Stein, who's now caught side for this one. Welcome, Brad. Give us a sense of what the real feel is like down there. Well, Robbie, I just got out here a few seconds ago, and it's pretty electric down here. The crowd is obviously very fired up behind Nick. Uh, I didn't quite make it for that last underhand serve, but... They are uh, very excited to see what he has to offer. Another quick one, Brad. Uh, we just noticed the, the guy's shirts flailing in the breeze. Which way is it going? Uh, it, 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 it's a little bit from the end that Danielle is at now, blowing down the court towards Nick. It's not too strong. That's the prevailing breeze here. Okay. At Rod Laver Arena. Well, I think I think already we're seeing because Kyrgios is down a break. He's he's his game face has gone off a little bit here. He's he's playing some shots that he plays in practice, so it, you know, almost as if it's, you know, a practice session. And he's got to be careful with that with Medvedev because he does have his game face on. He's come to play. He doesn't want to risk anything at this Australian Open. Yourself, but the, the logic here says, and what we've seen so far is that Kyrgios won't be, won't match it with Medvedev from the back of the court, and he's he is starting to go for stuff already that he normally wouldn't. He's serving and volleying more than he normally does. He's under the pump here. Medvedev has really come out firing. Oh, 
seems that it's the only way he can stay with the Russian. Brad is, he, Brad, is he faking that underarm serve there before he goes into his motion? A hundred percent, Fitz. That was a... Yeah, so he, he made Medvedev sort of take a step forward, didn't he, with the preparation there on the serve? He certainly did, and reduces the arrears, hangs on, play catch-up. Thank you. And he's trying to throw the rhythm of the Russians returning off, and... Uh, Interesting. I see Kyrus continuing to take away that T surf. First point against the Medvedev serve, the atmosphere changes. The tension rises. It's incredible, the, the difference. Hey guys, you can feel the difference that the crowd makes down here. It's his favorite. Close to just crank that one up the tee. He's playing a bad game here, Medvedev, isn't he? All it takes is a couple of strange little unusual errors. So for the second time in this set, Kyrgios has 15-40. And he's right in the Russian's grill. Yeah, remember, right before he got broken in the third game, he had two break points in Medvedev's service game. And Fitzy alluded to how important that hold could be for the Russian. Oh. And it's the same here. It wasn't the most convincing of all he was. At. Did Medvedev hit an out ball there, Brad? It's tough to tell from up high. Oh, 100% fits. That ball was going to go a fair distance long for sure, but he, it was coming so hard and so fast, he, he just had to make a reaction to it.
Gamble. And just for those who think it's booing, but actually it comes from a Cristiano Ronaldo celebration from the fans at Man United. If, if we ever underestimate the Medvedev serve ever, can you pull us into line, sure. please, Robbie? Yeah, I'll just slap you back into your lane. <laughs> Fifty percent of his serves have been unreturned so far in this match, first and second. Please, thank you. This is the first game we've seen where Kyrgios has been his match from the back of the court. Man, guys, it gets so loud down here. It's even hard for me to hear you guys with an earpiece in, but those ground strokes from Nick were really impressive. That last ball, just using his hands. Thank you. And the words that Ronaldo would use is see you. That's what it sounds like. And of course, it comes from Spanish and Portuguese, meaning yes. Well, this battle is well and truly joined now at four apiece. Very calmly done. Love of Amazing how high your heart rate will get, you know, in situations like that last game when there's so much riding on you holding your serve or not. He's, he's got to put that behind him now, Medvedev, and I'm sure right now he's, he's, he's incredibly disappointed, but, but at least his heart rate's come back down. The noise has disappeared here for the moment. You know, it, I find it amazing that Kyrgios is actually standing in the middle of the court and, and Medvedev is doing more work. It, I, I, think, I think Medvedev probably feels that if he keeps the ball in long enough, he's going to win most of these points. So he, he, he's loath to go for too much and, and, you know, make a mistake. But, but I think if he can make Kyrgios move, it, it'll change the whole outlook of this match because Nick, you would think, can't go with him if he has to cover the same amount of court.
point, I instantly walk to my towel. Instantly. I come back to seven seconds on the clock. How's that possible? When we were there, it was yeah, 25. I instantly walk. Yeah. It can't be seven seconds. It can't happen. Don't stay too much I'm there. Yeah, yeah. And then come back. So for the second match in a row, Kyrgios feeling like the chair umpire is starting the serve clock too quickly after the point. <laughs> might, might have something to do with his aerobic capacity. <laughs> I mean, he's, he was breathing hard there. to those long rallies, isn't it? And he's behind the eight ball at Love 30. He's done well. in that rally. On that occasion, he was a lot happier with his decision-making by the looks of things. Well, he has to risk, doesn't he? Yes. And he's most likely winning ground stroke is the forehand, the backhand too, but but the forehand is, he has the ability to increase the speed much faster. And uh, he's got to risk on that shot. I mean, if he gets involved in too many of those long rallies, he, he will be breathing hard. And the recovery then, to me, just has a question mark. Apologies for the colourful language. Well, it, it, he's under pressure. Ladies and gentlemen, please respect the players. He's under pressure, and that, that probably won't endear him to a, a fair section of the crowd either. Yep. But, but uh, it's, it's a sign also that he's he's working hard and struggling here to hold serve. Thank you. He's Met. stressed. Yep. He's got to serve it close yes. to the line at that speed to get a free point. If he doesn't, the odds turn almost immeasurably in, in favour of Medvedev. If he gets the ball back deep, he's in control most of the time. Wow. Brad, you would have had a bigger house if you'd had that serve. I don't even dream about that serve, Fitz. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's amazing how Nick feeds off of the turmoil, though, how he's capable of having these little interjections with the umpire and other people and then come back and, and produce the kind of tennis that he does. Most people just can't do it.
This game's taking a fair bit out of him too, mm. I would think. Yeah, going back to what you were saying before, Fitz, and I totally agree with you. I think Danielle wants to spread the court out and make, make it as physical as he possibly can early on. See what kind of condition Nick is really in. There. No, he had him cold. Thank you. Oh, this could be a major plot point in the outcome of this set if Kyrgios can hold here. from Kyrgios, I don't mind that. Especially given the scoreline. Yeah. Because when he gets the first point, he's uh, he creates a different situation, doesn't he? If Medvedev gets up in his service games, quite often they're quick. He's winning the ace race. There we go, Medvedev, eight to six. Again, testimony to that serve thing. It's never underestimated. He gets the first point, Robbie, and he steamrolls quite often, doesn't he? So after that previous physical game of Curiosis, he, he probably needs to keep this one a bit shorter. Yeah, the problem might not might not be up to him, Fitz. Yep. to the title here in 2019. The only player to give him a real run for his money was Daniel Medvedev. Testimony to his patience, his tennis IQ. He's had some epic matches against the world number one, and his ability to stay the course in each and every point is one of his greatest strengths. And Nick's going to hate that. You don't often see Kyrgios serve and volley as much either. He, he, 
He, he needs new ways to win points here against Medvedev. That's his best way. Next girlfriend, second from right. Christine Hatsy, alongside Stuart Duggett, his agent. Again, the fake underarm serve just draws that small reaction. Stunning day though. Last two days, so two of the best we've had, Golden Square. And in and around the ground, so much going on. The big screen. Uh, always nice to have a little bit of amber fortification at this time Final of the night. Please. Thank you. Players already. In the back of the corner. One of Fitzy's favourites I see there. Fear to change here if Curios wins this point. Yes. Oh. 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 Backed himself, Robbie, didn't he? That's the most aggressive one I've seen him hit for seat. Well, it's taking a bit of a risk. I mean, in normal play against a normal opponent you know he, these are the shots he goes for the first one was a bit low percentage but he's prepared to go for it yeah. good. but against curios it's so dangerous because it, because of this this is what happens close to winning this first set and logic says he has to I think what do they say about big time players they make big time plays on big time points what a time to deliver your ninth ace if you're Medvedev Guys, what an impressive hold from Daniel Medvedev. Nick tried to get the crowd involved there at 15.30. I do think that from down here, Medvedev, he should put a little bit of energy into celebrating his own good shots. and. He wants that serve plus forehand. It's deadly. 
keep the points nice and short. Gee, he was there, he picked that well. He's a, he's a smart tennis player, Curios. He, he, he picked where Medvedev was going. He'd, he'd done it on the previous, in the previous game on the final point, straight across court with the back. He was there, he nearly hit, made that. Has a heap of party tricks, doesn't he? <laughs> Pretended he wasn't looking after that return went short. No, he's got more than most. Pretty disconcerting, Brad, isn't it, if you're going against Kyrgios? Yeah, there's no doubt that it's hard to get... It's hard to keep from getting caught up in, in some of the stuff that he throws at you sometimes. And Medvedev's keeping a shield around himself right now. Well, he went for the old servant volley again. And in the back of his mind, he's worried about staying back with Daniel. So he's, he's trying that play more often than normal. Oh, it's well in. Those two points were bigger than we know. And as I mentioned before, guys, I like Daniel Medvedev's reaction after both of those points. After the double fault, he did a little subtle fist pump. And then after this return, uh, one that was a little less subtle, but a, but a fist pump. physicality. Kyrgios struggled there to change direction. Med just. Yeah, Medvedev had him moving one way. He had to change direction and go back, Nick, and he was off balance. Is that is that a physical issue? But, but I want to... Yes, I think it is, for one. But secondly, I love the pressure that Medvedev put on him by coming in. Took time away from Nick. Didn't allow him the luxury of hitting the shot up the middle of the court. It doesn't come in a lot. I can't Out of the ball movement. Yeah, no, good stuff, isn't it? I mean, that's why he's who he is and how good he is. But Kyrgios there, to me, it, I mean, I'm not just saying a physical injury. I'm saying physically tired there. The legs didn't get back into position. Yeah, it's a bit of a dynamic bit. movement was there. Yeah. A big break here, 5-1. Two mini breaks, in fact. You know, to win this set 7-6 from Medvedev's point of view is actually better from his point of view than, than not losing his serve earlier in the set and having to go through this. This has taken a lot more out of Kyrgios. And after losing two tie breaks in a row last time they played, he's got a chance to win this one. And he'll do just that with the Russian efficiency. He seals the deal. 7-6. Here we go. Set number two.
I wonder if there were any shackles on Medvedev in that opening set. I think they're going to come off now, Fitzy. He's turned into a machine, hasn't he? Daniel. So that's that's okay. movement again, recovering, pushing back, leg strength. First game, second set. Yeah, he's been a winning machine. As Medvedev won the most matches on tour last year. 63 and 13 most hardcore wins, Fitzy. And when winning the first set, he was exemplary. It's amazing how the stats turn in favor of the player that has won the opening set. I think Daniel just asked Carlos Bernardi's uh, for an extra towel because I think Nick knocked one off. <laughs> he went past and he was like a thief in the night there, Robbie. Yeah. The <laughs> best movement we've seen all evening. <laughs> shot that Start from Curios, he needed that. One more game. Yeah, it's going to be a mountain to climb for him. Just having a look back at last season on hard court when Medvedev did lose matches after winning the first set. Rublev in Cincinnati, two out of three sets though. Indian Wells to Dimitrov, two out of three. Djokovic at Bercy, two out of three. It's a little easier to do it in that format of the game. And of course, all of those three players, absolute physical beasts. the ball that he probably didn't go for that much in the first set it's so natural for him to hurt you with that one down the line it certainly is but the risk involved if you get down against Kyrgios in your own service game to go for that ball is, is sometimes too much because 
You know how hard it's going to be to break back if you lose your serve to Kyrgios. of Nick to come back and win. I was just having a look at, at Medvedev's his results at the hard court majors when he's won the opening set. He's 33 and 0. He's never lost when he's won the opening set at one of the hard court majors. Talk about trying to defy the odds. You are a font of knowledge. Robbie? Oh, there's... A fair few people helping me out, I can tell you that much. <laughs> but that's pretty telling, right there. Oh. Not sure he needs to go for that one, does he? I think maybe he's expecting Kiros to take more risks on the second serve now and go after it a bit more. He's shown signs of that this game. But you don't want to give away too many free points with attempted big second serves. Fitz, I think he's choosing to go for that bigger second serve based on return position from Nick. Nick standing in tight on that last second serve, looking to try and be aggressive. And... There you go, you called it, Brad. It's just like that. Yeah. Go ahead, mate. I think uh, it's hard to hear down there. I know, Brad. It's uh, yeah, you picked that beautifully. It's 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 what Kyrgios has to do, I think, to be a threat here. Go after the second serve. But he's just serving aces at will. Is Medvedev? He he has 12 now compared to Kyrgios seven. That's that's interesting in itself. He's out serving Kyrgios. New balls, That's a strong stuff. He leads by a set and 2 1, does Medvedev. Overcome these odds. A reminder: Medvedev has never lost at any of the hard court majors when he's won the opening set. 33 and 0. Serving exhibition right now, guys, between the last game from Daniel and now this game from Nick. It's amazing how both are just so incredibly relaxed as they go into their motions. That's a Kyrgios special. Girlfriend's happy. 
two, game is on. 211 clicks. It's a cross court, isn't it? I mean, he's got the one down the line as well, but uh, it's it's fraught with a little more danger. That one across court is as solid as a, a brick outhouse. <laughs> Nick's just referenced that, Fitzy. Body serve. He's always thinking Medvedev into the body there, knowing Kyrgios is trying to step in and hit the second serve aggressively. What do you say when Tommy Paul attempts that, Brad Stein? Your player. Uh, we're not allowed to speak during the matches. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards. <laughs> awesome serving. Yeah, it has been right out of the top draw. Serving to reduce their ears at 2 3 in the second. Brad, I'm, Brad, I'm probably going to default this one to you, given that you're in and around the locker room a lot. Do you think Nick will be playing this time next year? I really don't know, but if I had to uh, put ten dollars on it, I would say no. If his if his ranking drops to the point where he has to play qualies and go to these smaller events, I just don't see him doing it. That'll work every day. Well, he was disappointed, Medvedev, on the first point in this game. He he hit the tape with the same ball, and he was chastising himself to a degree after missing it. This time he lifts his sights and drills the line. This is difficult. And he gets it a little bit wrong there. set for Nick and you can see he is breathing heavily and, and, and it looks like leg strength to me more than anything Robbie I mean he's worked hard by anyone's standards in the first hour and 22 minutes here 
but the toll it's taking is more than it used to be, is my guess. using the height to such good effect. It's been a serving masterclass from Medvedev. 16 of those bad boys. If we're across the road at the MCG, that would have been considered in the block hole. <laughs> Terminology you're very familiar with. It is simply stunning. Yep. It's ruthlessly efficient behind his deal. Not only is Kyrgios up against one of the best players in the sport, but a player with one of the sharpest minds. This guy studied physics and maths at a specialized school before graduating and enrolling in economics at Moscow State Thank University. You. Certainly knows how to digest things and work the geometry on a tennis court. Oh. What a kit! That won't get much applause, you know. Even that, for me, with Kyrgios, he went for the tweener, as, as he calls it, but he didn't have the leg strength. He didn't look like making it, did he? If Fitz, you're 100% right on that one. He was a little bit slow reacting to get back, and then you should have seen the look on his face. It was like, gosh dang it, I gotta keep playing this point. two points you know they're physical for Nick so Medvedev now starting to look like he's going to work him over but both those points were a couple of long sprints yeah a dynamic movement take the wind out of your sails That's a big miss there from Medvedev. That was a very important point. Keeps Kyrgios's hopes up here, alive. Yeah. 
Well, if he makes that, he's probably going to win the point. It's all about risk, isn't it? Not when really he's so good with that back cap. Cross court is safer. Four percent of his serves have been unreturned in the set. That's what's really keeping a minute. That was too good. What a combination. How's that for a return? What a return, guys. That landed about two inches from the baseline. And then followed up with a perfect forehand to the line. Since I couldn't agree with you more on that previous 15-30 point, I thought Medvedev should have stayed in that point longer. that second serve 203 kilometers an hour for a second serve I think that's what you call going all in hey, he's a gunslinger decided to pull the trigger on that one ball in play, asking the question of Kyrgios. Nothing's a lost cause to this guy. Guys, that wasn't one of Nick's best underhand serves. You got a deep this ball lands sitting up right in the middle of the court. I thought it was interesting. Medvedev backed away there, Brad, he, just to stay in the point longer, make Nick work, maybe. down the tee on the first court. He has hit that target relentlessly in this game. Oh, he's a master. 
just not phased, is he? Players of this calibre, they've been through so many situations in their career to get to this place, to get to this time. And he's handling it with a plum right now, Medvedev. And he's squeezing every bit of energy out of Nick. Eight minute game, this. I mean, how well has Kyrgios served in this game? To that first court, he's hit it on a dime. And he's still down back court. Yep. And guys, it's been impressive to me in this game as Daniel Medvedev has really been on the return. His timing, the contact point, he's, when he's made the returns in play, they've been extremely good. Maybe, just maybe, Nick Kyrgios served a virtual match, saved a virtual match point there. I mean, I know that's a bit, getting a bit ahead of yourself, but that was a huge point in the context of where they both sit right at this moment. He's just going on a steady diet of that one, isn't he? He's feeling it. So he's sticking with the girl that he brought to the dance. not his forte. What a great point from Daniel Medvedev, guys. If he had lost that point, the crowd was going to go absolutely nuts. That was so significant. Match. Yeah, there's no doubt, Robbie, and especially with the crowd like this, and, and Nick was over there getting the crowd fired up even more before that point started. <laughs> Daniel's going to play this game on his terms to get through it relatively quickly, and that last game was an investment wearing the legs out of its opponent. a winner. I wonder if he saw the funny side of that. Probably not. I think he does. I think he's got a wicked sense of humour underneath 
as if he just resolve that he has just ignores it robin it's yep. a winner yeah, seemed to pull the uh, paper stuffing out of the inside of the shoes made it look like i think they were brand new he's got some new treads on probably looking a little taller Think of the soft tires, the hard tires, Robbie. He's going soft for the grip in this game. You now, Brad, sometimes that's where I think that the flary volleys of Kyrgios come back to haunt him. That was, that was a simple volley. And puts him in a hole by missing it. Yeah, the flare, he comes to that not exactly ideal footwork. Kyrgios kept out of their seats, trying to encourage their man. Two points away from going two sets to love down. He's good enough to do it, but he has to take these risks, doesn't he? He certainly does. There's no one-trick pony as Kyrgios. He's got the power, but he's got some gorgeous feel too. everything that gives Medvedev two set points A simple volley for a man of this stature. Wow. That would have gone a long way to putting this match to sleep. Oh, that was a let off a big one. Tonight, as he takes a two sets to love lead. 
He wins the second 6-4. Look at that first serve percentage from Kyrgios, and, and you would think it probably at least gets a tie break, but not against the likes of Medvedev. One of the best neutralizers of a big surf. He made Kyrgios work so hard on so many service games. Look at that, just pinning him to the baseline. Charge now is Medvedev with the two sets to love lead. And quickly straight back into that rhythm on his serve. So smooth, so easy, so relaxed. of concentration something else we probably haven't spoken enough about given everything that's been going on served on ace, you've got to be ready quicker than that. All I did was walk to my towel. I walked to my towel. Usually the ball kids give me the you, towel. You are receiving, you are not serving. Okay, but you, you delay him listen, to serve. Listen, no one, I don't want to talk to you. Listen to me, yeah? Hold on the screen. Bro, Stop oh, usually the ball kids give me the towel, yes or no? Perfect. Usually yes, they do, right? So all I did was walk to my towel. That's all I did. Perfect. But then, I'm not trying to slow you down. Can I say something? No. Okay. No one cares what you say. Okay. Just the time. I couldn't care less. Okay. Okay. Me too. Anyone else? Me too. No one cares about what you say. Me too. Well, going to the towel after an ace. It's not like he had played an extensive point. And of course, you've got to play to the pace of the server. That's the rule. And Medvedev was ready with plenty of time. The irony of it is, is so often it's Nick who plays so quickly between points. <laughs> it's illogic against logic. Yep. <laughs> I just want to explain to you, Nick's already had a warning for swearing. He's had one there for a time violation whilst receiving. They operate in two different parts of officiating in the match. So if you're wondering why he didn't get a point penalty, that's why. is the penalty if you continue to get time violations as the return server loses a first serve but what happens to the return there has to be some ramification if you continue to get yeah time next time violations. you lose a point each time thereafter you are late so time violation for nick as a receiver brad you would lose the point and it would happen each and every time thereafter <laughs> a 
looks like it. Not sure he wants to keep doing more miles than he has to. That's the point. <laughs> it can't do him any good. He's a great silencer, isn't he? Isn't he just... Yeah, Robbie, you go back to what you were talking about before in relationship to Daniel Medvedev's concentration and focus and dealing with all this extracurricular stuff that's going on. He's just quiet over there waiting to play. with a sports psychologist as well documented. One game on. Learning to channel his emotions because he's the first to admit that, that he's a volatile individual. And Cisco Dose. They've been together for a while. And that is a personal record for most aces now in a match for Daniel. He's at 21. And that Excuse me, it's for this tournament. Uh, boys, correct me. Thank you. Aces that Medvedev has served in any match that was the US Open 2019 27 against Feliciano Lopez. And if you remember, Fitzy, that was the match where after he was interviewed, he got into it with the New York crowd. It was vintage Medvedev that. Nasty guys. Nick didn't, didn't even take a break for that, didn't even make a step. Well, there's talent, isn't there? And, and, and then this endurance. Curious. It's cumulating, and accumulating, isn't it? Two games to it certainly one. is. One thing you cannot accuse Nick Curious of is being dull. It's been a fantastic atmosphere this evening in the Rod Laver Arena. And everybody has been enthralled by what's going on. Polar opposites and on court personalities. I feel like 
We're almost inside his head, Medvedev, looking here. I know it's a complicated place to be sometimes, that head, but he had a wry smile on his face after this point because he knows he just sucked a lot more energy out of Kyrgios than, than Kyrgios wanted. He had to work hard there. saw that Fitzy, but uh, Daniel Medvedev just gestured to Carlos Bernardes that the, co the, the clock had hit zero before Nick had started a service motion and he didn't call it. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but when Nick swings back and forward to start his motion, that's the time on the clock. It's only when he pulls it back for the final time to start it. That's considered the start of the motion, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're exactly right there, Robbie. He has this rocking action that he's in right now, but there's the start. Oh! got away from him and it's a shot that he shouldn't miss he knows it too soon to panic that's for sure what a funny book that was did you ever read it Abe Siegel too soon thank to you. panic do you remember oh, Abe Siegel you, I do yep yeah it was a character yeah character a bit of a tennis legend really yeah. he really was Left-handed. Oh. Robbie, first and book and one. author. Handful of summers, Gordon Forbes. I knew you'd know since he's a good South African. Oh, it's it's a must read if you enjoy your tennis, isn't it? It's my favorite book on tennis of all time. Not with us anymore, Gordy. But uh, his son is Gavin. He's right. my agent for a, a long time, Gavin Forbes. What a family they were in, in South African tennis, eh? They certainly were. Yeah, Gavin was Jim Courier's agent as well, and so I spent a lot of time around him. Great guy. Oh, I mean, the only guy I know that tells a better joke than Fitzy. <laughs> It's not hard to is, do. Is it a cheap joke, Brad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to compete on this channel. Are we forgetting how well he's serving here? No, no. not for a second. This is a master class of serving. He's up to 23 aces he, now. He does it without you noticing, almost. 
that's tie for his best aces performance ever. In three sets? Has that got something no, to do? In, in all matches that he's played. Well, he hasn't even played three sets here. That's mm -hmm. incredible. Has that got something to do with the fact that Kyrgios is not picking it or not moving quickly? I think so. Yeah. Absolutely. He's guessing on a fair few as well. and counting. Time. Oh, there's uh, plenty of people all around the grounds. A great atmosphere at Garden Square. All the fans outside watching on the big screen, Rod Laver Arena in the background, the centerpiece of Melbourne Park. What a great host it has been since 1988. What a final that was in 88. Pat Cash almost taking the title, losing 8 6 in the fifth to Matt Villander. Well, that would have been the perfect baptism for this court had Cashy won. I'm not sure Matt Spillander agrees with that, right? <laughs> Good point. 15 long. Isn't he on that backhand? He hardly any backswing at all and just uses his left hand there to create the angle across court. So safe. the winner of this one will go on to play the Dutchman Botek van der Zanschop we've got a retirement against Richard Gasquet Gasquet not able to finish the match it was pretty short lived that one so he'll come into this match ready to rock and roll Is indeed Medvedev that he's got a play fit seat. He gave him a good run for his money at the US Open, if you can remember that quarterfinal match. And he came into that match off the back of five setter, four setter, four setter, five setter. Wow. So he's a bull. He's, he's been one of the Thank hottest you. players Thank you. from uh, the US Open on. Where's this coming from? Still something in the tank from Kyrgios. That's impressive. Oh, 
Interesting that he's continuing to come forward, you know, like probably not his main forte as we've talked about. And he, when he gets that short back in, he's prepared. That was a difficult volley in the end. It looked like he was going to stumble there. I definitely think that's something that him and his coach have discussed in his opening run against Loxton and as well. He came in a fair bit more than usual. It's an area of his game he has to improve on. He's given Kyrgios a few looks at some second serves in this game for, for the first time. And Nick's been able to take advantage. Please. Thank you. This is the first point. Watch the reflexes here. Some of the best footwork that we've seen from Nick all evening long right there. forehand to get the break. Pure elation. He's crazy. And he's crazy good when he wants to be.
light for service. is what they came to see. Thank you. Hit the tank. they've come to see to forget about life for a while <laughs> oh dear well he's got the place hopping i know that medvedev is stoic though I'm impressed that Kyrgios physically is still here because he hasn't had any tennis. None under his belt. Came to, came to Melbourne for a pre-tournament. Pulled out with injury. Goes to Sydney. Gets COVID. Thank you. Comes here, has a couple of practice sessions. I'm surprised he can stay this long physically. But best of five is a lot different to best of three. There's a long way to go. This crowd and adrenaline will keep him going for at least a while longer, Fitz. I don't think he's going to use up a lot of energy in this game. He's going to save it to serve it out in the next... As always, Gilles Savara. Marrying his player's attitude. sit down Kyrgios will serve for the third set to extend the match Please. Kyrgios to take us to a fourth Oh. 
It's amazing man. how many times he does come up with an incredible shot under pressure, isn't it? Like that, that volley was an extraordinary volley. It's an X factor that you and Brad were talking about a little earlier. He's got it. He's been able to beat the very best tennis players in the sport, Fitzy. And I think why he, yeah, why he plays better tennis against the best players. Yes. He plays like he's got no fear. He's got nothing to lose against the best players, whereas if they're ranked lower, he either doesn't get up for it as much, it doesn't tickle his fancy as much, and or he feels more pressure to beat judgment. guys below him. This is where he plays his best. That's pretty you. funny. <laughs> that was the best comment of all time. <laughs> Carlos Bernardes wants in on the party. This set's still on a knife edge, but Kyrgios looks like he might take it. Set point, Nick. volleys there just letting Medvedev down you can see four of ten in the forecourt it's the ability of Kyrgios to really change the atmosphere in this stadium that helps him break in this match that was extraordinary To go toe to toe with the very best. Thank you. Okay, set number four. Let's get it on. Mistake, didn't he? Medvedev there. 
He held that back backhand. Kyrgios waited and then moved and had Medvedev committed down the line. Big moment here. Please. Thank you. This is for the Aussie. throat I think and <laughs> oh there's tension a plenty so much tension it's easier to hit through the ball accelerate through the ball that is difficult under pressure tension in your arm Daniel's coach knows that all too well let's put a big asterisk next to that game Fitzy Still thinking about that forehand, that break point. I tell you what, he was asked some pretty big questions in that game, though, Medvedev, and came through with flying colours. lost the edge a little bit too he's because he's so far back but I don't know whether he's moving forward a little bit more slowly but Kyrgios using the drop shot a lot there now twofold because it also brings Medvedev forward and if Nick gets to a look at the pass uh, Daniel's hands aren't the best in the forecourt <laughs> nothing wrong with that 
His hands are fine in the full court. Yeah, he had to hit that volley for a winner. If he went across court, it had to be a winner because he, he may not have been able to recover from that position. But gee, that was not easy. It was up high and it takes strength from there. dimensions of the court to keep that one in. All of a sudden additional pressure now. Goes to show how good both of these players, how they how good their serves are to serve this well for this long. Just fake the underarm serve again. that he didn't really want. One game on. Just enough elevation on that. One apiece. Seeing any chinks in the armor down there for either player? I mean, to be honest, right now, Fitz, I think Nick is looking pretty good. Awesome. Like Robbie mentioned before, and uh, he came up with that serve at 215 down the middle. You guys have been talking about how it's He's not quite changing direction out of the corners as well as you'd like to see, but it doesn't seem to be affecting his serve. Oh, we used to see Nick have service games that quick. <laughs> now it's Medvedev giving him a taste of his own medicine. players with magnificent serves They're so loose explode into the court so beautifully and they can do it for hours on end this arena named after the legend that was rocket rod who won the grand slam in the true sense of that meaning on two occasions in 62 and 69 all four majors in the same calendar year and there's been a fantastic vibe in and around the arena this Thank evening you. the best that we've seen all week
Schlacht. Hörst du was? Good hands, stick tall. And as great as this service motion is, it allows him to get in pretty quickly here. So he's well inside the service line there, and he's solid, isn't he, on that volley? Deliberately takes the speed off the ball there. That's field. Ball ten off. That's one of the toughest things to do when you're falling. A lot easier to add pace to it. Oh, that was a wicked underarm serve. <laughs> Wicked, but how good was the repost? Uh, well, I, I love the fact that Medvedev keeps chasing them down. He doesn't blink an eyelid, even at 40 love, when it's unlikely he's going to break the serve of Kyrgios. He still goes after this. So there's no let up from him. No smile. No messing around. You know, when you serve like this too, the closer it gets to the tiebreaker, the more tension arises. And Two games off. In this case, I think it's in Kyrgios's favour because right now Medvedev has more to lose than Nick Kyrgios. He's led two sets to love. He's the favourite here on paper. He's the highest remaining seed. He thank you. won the US Open. He, he hopes to win this title and he's under pressure here. He's got a lot to lose. Please. And the way Kyrgios is still serving, it's anybody's set. That's ridiculous. Wow. <laughs> There's risk in that. I mean, you've got to go for it. You can't just play safe all day. But if he misses this and goes down love 15, the crowd gets involved. Yep. The pickup off the baseline midpoint there was absolutely amazing from Daniel Medvedev. A half volley. Nick had absolutely crushed that ball. Yeah, we oh, talk wow. about the talent of Kyrgios, and it's obviously there, plain for all to see. Extraordinary. Yeah, but don't, but yes, but don't forget Medvedev. He is also an extraordinarily gifted player. Not. Not just because he's consistent, yeah. he's got all sorts of weapons in his in his arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. In particular, that serve. It's up to 30 aces now. That is a career best. Yeah, Ravi, you said, I'm throwing Thank everything you. in the kitchen sink at him.
He blew it there, Nick, didn't he? He should have put that away. The more chances you give the opposition for them to get the ball back, the riskier it becomes. Yeah, and that sprint back on the lob, Fitz, was a brutal sprint, actually. The way he turned and exploded, mm -hmm. uh, that, that took something mm -hmm. out of him right there. Guys, I have the feeling down here on the last couple of serves, and that, that first serve that missed was 216, but it just feels like Nick is laboring a little bit more to explode up to the ball and create that now than he was 45 minutes or an hour ago. Print on the first point, Brad might be haunting him a little bit here. He didn't get down to that volley, did he? No, I, I think that sprint honestly took something out of him, and, and he's feeling it in his legs through this game. Well, he wanted to win that first point so badly once that ball went over his head, and he put everything he had into getting back to that ball. Two break points, Medvedev. And Jill Savara is the coolest customer in the house, I think. What a shot that was. I mean, that right-handed kick serve out to your backhand is not easy to control down the line. But he hit that straight out of the middle, right out of the screws. Flushed it, didn't he? Thank you. Let's give it him the break here in the fourth, 4-2. It was one of the best returns I've ever seen. To take it to a fifth set against Nadal at the finals of the US Open. Nadal hit a wide serve and he hit the same return for a clean winner down the line with Nadal serving and volley. Etched into my memory that one. Crowd in New York went ballistic. contrast to the reaction that he received for hitting that one on break point. Don't Tell you what, if Medvedev does get over the line here, he knows he's playing well now. <laughs> After two matches of this Thank open, you. he will be confident.
mentioned the winner of this one will take on Botic and the Zanschop. The Dutchman, a winner today against Richard Gaske, who of course played against Medvedev in the quarterfinals of the US Open. That one went four sets. Yeah, 31 aces. Incredible. It's been the cornerstone of his game. That'll be a point penalty, right? Because he's already had a warning for bad language. So he will start serving low 15 down. He looked like he, looked like he was shaping up to serve from the first court and saw that Medvedev was in the second court. Order a stalk. It's a touch of genius, not for the first time this evening. The touch and feel off the backhand drop shot is looking Novak-esque, right? It's been very effective with that. Yeah, it's high praise, Brad. Kyrgios on this stage. That's One thing is for sure, he has gone out with a bang if things don't go his way here. It's been almost three hours of high octane tennis, but the end is nigh. It's two match points for Medvedev. Fantastic contest on Rod Lever Arena. Simply too good. A mental giant and a physical one too. He takes Kyrgios down in four sets.